In the team's category for this year's Hall of Fame, Field Hockey Canada honours a team who blazed the trail for Canadian field hockey. You know, women didn't go to Australia in 1956 to play sports. It was really unprecedented. The 1956 women's field hockey team was the first to travel abroad to play international field hockey. Their efforts helped pave a path for the future generation of players. The fact that these really are the, the first inaugural group to build an international women's team and go offshore and represent Canada at home and abroad and get us on the map was a really important part in our history. It was the start of the women's national team's history and an important piece that we, we recognize that within our Hall of Fame. The idea of forming a national team that would travel began through the Greater Vancouver Grass Hockey Association. Members of the team had the ambition to go abroad, but needed funds and a representative from another association to get things going. Eventually, enough money was raised and a field hockey association from Victoria got on board. This new Canadian national team was then off to the races at the IWFHA Field Hockey Tournament in Australia. Without this team going in 56, it could have been another three, six, ten years. While abroad, the team had the opportunity to compete and collaborate with some of the world's best. This included the opportunity to train with the English national squad, who at the time were considered the queens of field hockey. It was something very, very special for us to go. We met so many people, and when we were in Australia, we toured with the English team, who were the best in the world. They taught us a lot, but they were so nice to us. 66 years later, that same 1956 Canadian team is now being inducted into the Field Hockey Canada Hall of Fame, and fellow FHC Hall of Famer Barb Hart Harris put together a special event to celebrate the team. Well, it was really important to me to nominate the team in the first place, because it's such a big part of our history to start international Play. So you were a fullback? I was a fullback, yep. So defense? Yes, defense, yes. Remaining team members and their respective families were able to celebrate one another's accomplishments. Members of the team were handed awards as a way of recognizing their contributions. Some of the team members also got the chance to pick up a hockey stick for old time's sake. <laughs> when looking back on what the team was able to accomplish, many of the team members and contemporaries are proud that this team was able to accomplish what they did. Absolutely amazed that, that we we're in the Hall of Fame, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Unbelievable, of course. You know, just really exciting, and to think that you know I've got some pictures and, and this beautiful scarf and all Canada. Well, it means a lot to me because it's the first time I ever went overseas, and to to be acknowledged like this is fantastic.
Lots of things have changed, but not the friendship. Not the, um, the sharing of goals scored and games lost and, and so on. It's just a, it's a wonderful, uh, hooray, it's a hooray, wonderful hooray. coming around.